Hi y'all, how y'all doing? My name's Ryan Lane and welcome to my review channel. So for today's movie, I will be reviewing The Fabulous Four, directed by Jocelyn Morehouse and starring Susan Sarandon, Betty Midler, Megan Mullally, Cheryl Lee Ralph, and Bruce Greenwood. Six months following the uh, death of her husband of 48 years, Marilyn, played by Betty Midler, has decided to move to Key West, Florida to get married to another recently widowed man. And coming along to this wedding are some of her lifelong best friends, including uh, horny singer Alice, played by Megan Mullally, canvas farmer Kitty, played by Cheryl Lee Ralph, and uptight surgeon Lou, played by Susan Sarandon. Hijinks will be had, and decades-long grudges will be brought to the surface. So the biggest problem with the movie is the screenplay by far. The plotting is predictable, and there are some hackneyed plot twists that had me going like, really? This is the best you could do? It took you, what, all of five minutes to come up with that plot twist? Yeah, 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 good for you. Anyway, anyway... Uh, there are some, and the storytelling it it's too underdeveloped to support the uh, emotional uh, highs that it clearly aspires to. The screenplay fail wants to imply a a decades long friendship between the quartet of leading ladies, but it fails to establish a solid foundation of backstory for them. Like I feel like this is epitomized best by the very opening sequence where it literally just speed runs through uh, exposition with Lou giving narration to some uh, pra what is practically a key note PowerPoint presentation, and it just doesn't work. I was like, uh, should I be taking notes for this? Anyway, uh, the film also has some major tonal issues. Like, again, this film is like light, frothy comedy most of the time, and... There will be some points where out of nowhere comes a huge dramatic moment. Ultra sad music, ultra sadness, ultra yelling. I'm just like, what the hell is going on here? And again, most of the time, it just doesn't work. There's a moment every here and there where I was like, okay, all right, that was a decent emotional moment. But again, most of them are just mediocre at best. But the biggest and most unforgivable sin of this movie is the humor, which is to say it has barely any humor to stretch out for its 100 minute runtime. Sometimes it's unfunny because it relies upon lazy double entendres that not even a degrade sitcom would want to use. Sometimes it's unfunny because it relies upon lazy, you know, uh, genitalia jokes that not even a sophomore high school student would find funny. And sometimes it's a combination of both. There's also some funny <laughs> old people and technology don't mix, am I right? Style jokes that land like a lead balloon. And the less said about ugh, TikTok, the better. There's also uh, the fact that the writing will... Actually, there will be occasional moments where they the writing will sneak up on you and deliver a funny line like with my favorite being of all things a hail satan joke you kind of gotta see the context and understand but it's really funny but beyond that the theater i was in it was mostly just crickets granted there was all five people in there but still it was crickets all the same the only mildly competent thing about this movie is the cast uh, and even then, they only managed to deliver, you know, sporadic highs at best. Uh, Bay Midler, she does an okay job as Marilyn, an airheaded yet kind widow who wants to reunite with her friends. Susan Sarandon, she's stuck with the thankless role of Lou, a straight-laced doctor with some uh, rather underdeveloped anxiety issues regarding getting replaced by a cat at her job. It's a long story. And Megan Mullally, she she's all right as uh, as a singer who uh, is down for anything and anyone, and she steals most of the film's laughs. Like again, of all the laughs, I'd say seven, eight, maybe. I'd say she gets at least half ish, give or take. And Cheryl La Lee Raff, uh, clearly in need of some high quality Abbott Elementary material. She's She's decent as Kitty, a cannabis farmer who's chafing at her uh, born-again daughter's insistence she move into a retirement home. 
Together, these actresses, they have, um, okay chemistry. Uh, again, like I said, the lack of sufficient table setting really undercuts the, the actress's attempts at humor and pathos. So tonally imbalanced, woefully underdeveloped, and above all else, unfunny, the Fabulous Four squanders the talents of its overqualified cast. So with all that in mind, I will be giving The Fabulous Four two out of five stars. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. If you like this review and would like to see more like it, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And for today's comment section prompt of the day, what is your favorite bachelorette comedy and why?